Hello? To all people. We've proven that children, especially four-year-olds, can improve the lives of older people. Chasing a four-year-old around, that must be the answer. <laughs> they have helped us deal with our fears and have brought us together. It was very clear how much joy was generated by the relationships between the, the children and the older people. That's why I love you. This year, we introduce a new crop of seniors. Well, I live on my own, unfortunately. I lost my wife 11 years ago, so the place is, you know, pretty empty, a two-storey place. I miss my wife dreadfully. My little mate Rocky here, he's been my companion. He's 17 and a half. When he goes, it's going to be tragic. I feel empty, hopeless. I feel lonely all the time. When I left corporate life, I sank into a deep depression. I don't see anybody anymore. What really is there to look forward to? To be quite honest with you, I feel as I'm in God's waiting room, just waiting to die. This time, in a global first, we're testing whether older people can be assisted by the most notoriously difficult demographic there is. Teenagers. We're going to meet some older people. Shouldn't we call them old people? I should say the old people. <laughs> the old people. I feel like calling them old people is like really mean. <laughs> oh yeah, maybe elderly. Anyone who is older than me is old. Honestly, no. I'm a little bit scared. I feel like I'm gonna be so awkward because like I don't know how to relate to them. Why not? Like I feel like they just read the newspaper. The last few years have brought isolation for young and old alike. I think if you want joy in your life, you pick the wrong generation. I'm very lonely. Everybody is lonely. I spend most of the day in my room. I don't really have anyone to hang out with. I don't have many friends. Some teenagers put up that we're really tough when sometimes we're not. In a recent study by the Black Dog Institute, they found that about 75% of teens reported challenges with their mental health coming out of the lockdowns. There's been a spike in loneliness and mental health challenges and needing a little bit of that support. She is struggling and breaks your heart as a parent to not be able to protect her. I think that this experiment will help them regain that connection to other people. So we're bringing them together for a groundbreaking experiment spanning six weeks. I think we're almost there. They'll meet in a custom-designed neutral territory. We're calling it the Intergenerational Community Centre. Having shown the benefits with four-year-olds, we now want to see the benefits of putting older people and teenagers together in the hope that it will be a deeper, stronger, relationship where both groups reap the benefits. Oh, we're getting off? Yes. Are we getting off? We're leaving this bus. Man, I just really want some friends. Regardless of their age. And just have somebody who I can share experiences with. I feel like that would be really nice. Oh my god, I am so scared. <laughs> Bye. I hope they think I'm nice. I try to be nice. Sometimes it doesn't work out, but you know, you just got to be nice. Oh, my God, I can't believe it. We would like this program to be a catalyst to implement intergenerational programs in the community across Australia.